So, before the video starts, I am making this video to call out Game Wolf and calling them out on their shit about, you know, <laughs> thinking that they care about the player base. They basically didn't do anything to make the game worth saying that they care about the player base. Like, I get it. New cars and shit like that. I guess you can say they care about the player base to that extent. But the real matter is the multiplayer. And they don't care about the player base when it comes to that. They they shit it on the player base to mainly provide for the people who are content creators. To, to basically give them more notoriety. And give the game more notoriety to make more money off the game. Which is... Just a sad thing. So this video is mainly just to call them out on the fact that Game Loft ruined their own game on purpose. And people won't really see that as for what it is. But for someone like me that played the game for so long, it's definitely there. Like you would if you was like me and you played the game from when it was actually fun. Until the that until that C seven R update came, you will see just just the actual in motion effect of them saying we don't give a fuck about our game and completely screw the multiplayer. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead get the video going. So yeah, enjoy. Yo, and today we're gonna talk about S49. Basically, a rise and fall of S49. Even though I probably won't even consider it as a fall because you know the devs still squeeze this game as like the good thing even though they fucking ruined it on purpose for the sake of money and clout um yeah it's it's basically that one video i did about saying why i stopped playing as well not but a little bit more in depth into why i don't play it no more like i said it's other post notifications i made a beyblade video earlier i mean the quality ain't good yeah, i did put it in the description too the quality is booty boy cheeks because the camera I use is not that good at all, but I'm, I mean, I did at least one, so I can tell myself I actually did a Beyblade video, so, uh, yeah, go ahead and get into it. It's over 9,000! I'm gonna start off with the very good and good thing about Ads Falling Up, and that very good thing is... The variety of cars that they have in the game. Asphalt 9 probably has. I, I don't. I don't really know if I can compare it to any other racing game, regardless if it's mobile or like console game. But it probably has the most variety of cars in terms of wackiness, weirdness, and just outright some crazy ass brands or manufacturers that you never even thought even existed until you played as one on first of all they got the w70 which has quite a history due to ferrari being pussy punk bitches for crying about the fact that it looks better than a goddamn la ferrari that's my take by the way the reason why they sold them is because it looked like a ferrari and they cried about the fact that it looked like a ferrari you know how ferrari is they cry about anything that involves you know their cars looking you know, if somebody takes a simple spoiler and straps it on an F40, they get the crime and saying, yeah, we're taking your ass to court because uh, we don't want you customizing our cars. You know what I mean? Even though you paid your money for the F40. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, a, a weird electric car called Apex. Even I forgot what that one car was called, but that car too. It's a lot of wacky looking cars that's on there. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> There's also cars like the Chiron and the fucking Hennessy Venom F5, I think. With tons of variety in terms of looks, brand manufacturers, they starting to throw in some customiz some more customization stuff in there. So it's like it's pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm getting on my <laughs> The good thing about S Online is, well, it's a pretty satisfying game like I do like how the mechanics feel the mechanics of the game feels nice the drifting the you know the drifting the nitrous and everything all of that feels good when you put all of that together if you're a sweat <laughs> I, I would have been I mean I'll get to that at some point but yeah basically the mechanics of the game is just good I like how it feels it's different from many other games. 
honestly, I'd I'd rather play Asphalt Nine over Need for Speed Unbound because they they ruined it Unbound, and I'm sorry to I'm sorry to say it. They ruined they ruined Unbound. Motherfuckers ruined Unbound. That's why I never trust Criterion. <laughs> Me personally, I never trust the Criterion because it doesn't matter what what devs are for Need for Speed. It's not going to change the fact that they might just fuck up the game. And they did fuck up the game. So, yeah. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't pick Asshole 9 over it today because you know, the state of Asshole 9 in. But, um, yeah. Back then, I would have chose. Like, if Unbound was out way earlier before well, when, you know, Asshole 9 was, like, just coming out. I'd much rather play Asshole 9 because I definitely have more fun on that then unbound i'm not gonna lie to you it's showtime <laughs> multiplayer as for nine back then was also a very good thing because while it was ranked based at the same time you were still able to like you know get through the ranks so you could use all the cards that you wanted to use now for people that probably don't know this, as for, for people that probably don't know this, that want to know because they want to play the game or they just never knew, as for nice multiplayer, when it comes, it's, it's only ranked based, which is, you know, annoying. Multiplayer is ranked based, and every rank is tied to the tier of, what, of the cars. So the lowest tier is D, and the highest tier is S. So whenever you go up a whenever you go up a rank, you go up a tier also. And if you get you know, deranked, you lose that you lose that tier too. Back then it was okay. Because like I say, you was actually able to use whatever car you wanted to use as long as you got to that tier. And the multiplayer was more chill and understanding and fun. Despite if someone KD'd you. Because I mean you gain more points but and you didn't lose a lot of points you only lost like one or two points but you will gain more than that or if not you will gain at least the same amount of points you will lose which was the lowest amount which was like one or two but you still you mostly gotten a lot of points at the end of it if you was high in the position depending on how big the lobby and shit is and yeah, depending on how big and shit the lobby was and stuff like that. And those are the times where Asphalt 9 was actually fun. I pour, I, I don't do this, by the way. If a game portrays itself as something good at first, and then you see, you all of a sudden see the game take a, a tremendous change for the worse, and you poured all, you, you poured a lot of money into it, and a lot of hours, I feel so bad for you. But that's exactly what I did. During that time, I poured in so much money in the game because that's how much I loved the game. The game was actually fun during that time. You know what I'm saying? I didn't mind spending money on the game because, I mean, it is heavily microtransaction based. It was fun. It was pretty fun. I, I, I mean, ain't no reason to really bring it out. I mean, I was in a team. It was fun back then. It, had, it was very promising. Game Wolf gave so many promising things, like probably giving it a better proper multiplayer for casual, you know what I mean, something like Asphalt 8, where you can choose a race out of the four that it provides, or, you know what I mean, you pick a class that you want to be in, you get four races to pick, and then you pick the car that you want to use that's within that class and only that class and stuff like that. It was... It would have been a pretty good idea they had thought about this before they took the deep route. I'm just a nigga with a rocket launcher. Now, we're going to like the medium. The medium. The thing that basically kind of made the game feel, you know, annoying as fuck to deal with. But you still like the game no matter what so um yeah that's where they're at microtransactions <laughs> like i said this game is heavily microtransaction based if you think that you're gonna be able to get that jesco without spending any money on the card i like actual money on the card to get it leveled up enough to be fast enough to like keep up and stay on top you boy you be wrong boy you better be a god at the game because on god on god on god you ain't gonna be able to make it <laughs> if you ain't cracked on this game 
with a at least a one star for about half of the GP. The Syndicate, you know, the shit is heavily microtransaction based with the cars they bring out on Syndicate. And then the uh, special events for certain cars that have come out, like the Tuatara and D and the Bugatti Devo and stuff like that that have come out. And those are also microtransaction based pretty heavy because then they make you, cause then if you ain't got the cars that you need to get, they make they basically say you have to you have to spend your tokens to get the pack so you can try to get the car at least unlock and that still wouldn't even be enough because then you would have to still like star it up to a certain point where the car is actually eligible for that specific event just to complete it and yes you it has to actually be the star count and I think the level count too. <laughs> It's not like it won't let you. It won't let you in at all of the shits unless it's it meets the requirements, which is annoying as fuck. But at the end of the day, the game was still fun. Like I said, it was still fun back then. Enjoyed it a lot, despite the fact that it was heavily microtransaction based. But it was still fun during that time. And yeah, and now we get to the bad and very bad. This is where the this is where the D-Day happens, you know what I mean, this is where the D-Day happens, and that D-Day was, uh, the C7R Grand Prix. What? Bro, what are you talking about? Now, that Grand Prix practically brought about the end of Asphalt 9 in terms of enjoying the game, because these motherfuckers at Game Loft basically said, oh yeah, we don't care about our players. We want our game to be so toxic and so heavily ranked based and so screwed up in points that we don't even want casual players to be on our game no more. Even though we portrayed it as that the first time around, we don't even want people like that on our game. We don't care. We just want money and people to give us clothes and give and give our game more recognition. You know what I mean? And yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the annoying part. Now, the YouTubers... I can understand why the YouTubers ain't probably ain't even gonna try to say nothing about it, cause you know the sweet cash green, green cash green, cash green that come from you know Asphalt Nine's fucking promotions and shit like that, and their partner program and stuff like that. Which if you don't know, you have to actually you have to have uh, a lot of subscribers <laughs> and have tons of recognition, not well recognition ability on your channel to even be able to get into it, and and that means you also be able to get content early before it actually releases for the public so that you can make videos on it before all of that comes out multiplayer after that was not the same they ruined the multiplayer for the sake of money and you probably don't think that but that's exactly what happened they really ruined the game for the sake of money and it pisses me off because it's because it's like bro it'd be it'd probably be people on the game they'd be like yeah multiplayer is so much better than it was before and it's not really even nowhere near as slightly as better as, as better as it was before because honestly ain't no way it could be that better than the last one like like i said you you was actually able to get to where you wanted to go so you use whatever car you wanted and like remember when i said that the game is like only rank based now let me go i'm going to death of what i of what I, the multiplayer basically is with the rank base since it's only rank base Basically, you uh, you pick a car, and you have to pray to God that the game gives you a race that's, you know, able to have your car being fitted for that. Fuck! So, let's say you do pick a car like the W70, the w which has shit drift capability, but it's pretty fun and decent on the streets with good nitro management and all of that stuff. It's a pretty fun car, if you ask me. So... You, you, you pick that car right, and then the game gives you a track. They give you a track like Osaka, but one of the technical races of Osaka, or one of the technical races of, <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to do the newer tracks, but I'm like one of the technical races of, um, of San Francisco. Maybe it will definitely New York, but well, no, New York is actually pretty technical when it comes to just cars like that in general. I'm not gonna lie, but 
Yeah, like, you have to pray they don't give you tracks like those when you use a car like that. Because nine times out of ten, everybody is using meta cars regardless, so that includes, well, at least the class that I was talking about with when it came to W70 is, you know, the Grand Sport Corvettes, the Huracans, the Apexes. Definitely the Apollo Ends. No, man, <laughs> the Apollo Ends and other cars, F1 LM, like it's, it's, a, it's a handful of cars. Yeah, it's, the game removes fun out of multiplayer when the C7 R Grand Prix came. And it was just annoying as fuck. I'm like, bro. I, to, to, to tell you how bad the multiplayer was when that shit came out and till this day because it's still the same till this day basically i see i had this xbox controller and let's just say that xbox controller that motherfucker did, did, did not look like an xbox controller at the end of the day that's that's how much damage i gave that controller against walls because of how but how how sad they made this game to be after that when, when that update came out the highest you probably gonna get to is probably gold which is like the b class and after that you just have to hope that you, motherfuckers just ain't gonna kd you too many times to the point where it's like you just losing points at points after points because then they also changed the way the points work where you definitely you lose a shit ton of points but you also gain a shit ton of points but it's easier to lose in s nine than it is to win because like i said motherfuckers with kd you on purpose like some clans will literally dedicate themselves to only KD people oh, just to win because you know <laughs> no mercy and stuff like that and then you got the hackers that definitely just make it worse they weren't that bad over th at that time because I mean multiplayer was still fun but this update made it worse because now no motherfuckers are basically just gonna be hacking they way to wins and shit like that ghosting and all that shit and it's like man they really said fuck this game and <laughs> nobody is talking about it in any way shape or form at least in the way it should be talked about of. like game off y'all really said y'all don't give a fuck about the player base i i don't care how i don't care if anybody tries to come in saying that they do care about the player base they really don't because i can't like i think i don't know how long i haven't played that small nonsense that shit but they're still not a casual multiplayer in that game and multiplayer 2 is not casual multiplayer because that's that's merely half of what casual multiplayer would have would could be like but better you know what i mean like something like asphalt hey where pick the class you want to be in you get a selected amount of tracks the whole lobby picks a specific track and then you use whatever car you want within that class as for non, nigga, you just have to pick a car, and you have to hope to God that the great that the game gives you a good race that you can do, and not a shitty one of that. And it's like, yo, I don't know how they go from high hopes to sad to what to Mr. Krabs playing the saddest song on the world's smallest violin. It's just dumb. And it's like I said, like YouTubers ain't gonna say nothing about them because they get that they get they get that green in there recognition from game love from these you know make videos on their asphalt nine game and stuff like that and it's like like i got mean, it is what it is you get the money you get the money but it would be nice if someone pulled off oh well i can't remember what they're doing or anything. it would be nice if, they, if someone decided that like that was in that that is in that program to just come out of nowhere and be like y'all need to get your shit together Quit trying to implement these new microtransaction options and actually add a multiplayer people will play and be able to enjoy your game again instead of just leaving the game because y'all don't want to make a game fun and only want to make it where it's toxic all day every day. That's And that's why it's like a good amount of people left the game because nobody wants to be dealing with that shit on a daily basis. No one wants to be sitting here. And forcibly doing races, just to just to get a chance to get into a new rank, to use a new type of car. Like the S class cars are never touched by a lot of people no more, and that's because of this system. 
it was so much better before because at least you at least it may at least you didn't lose a lot of points. You gained more than you lost, so it's it was way better back then, but man, this time period it's like all fucking bad and it just makes me so mad. To this day it makes me mad because it's like like I said, I poured in hours on this game, time, like I poured in a lot of shit on this game at first before they ruined the game and that's what makes me mad like if i could i would literally force these motherfuckers to give me a whole refund on everything i bought because of the fucking false advertisement they was doing for the game portraying it as a game that is fun to play just to turn around and make it so toxic and so sad that it's like not even worth playing no more because all you see, all you have to deal with is toxic and all of that stuff like that. Hackers and stuff like that. It's, it's so, so, so bad. And like I said, these motherfuckers will add weight. They, they add more microtransaction options to the game. But they won't add no casual multiplayer. No, 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 no. We don't want that. We want more money. We don't want, we don't want more slow, slow players. We want more money. Like. Just add a casual multiplayer. You will get more. You will actually get more money that way than just doing what you're doing now. Like you will get more money that way because people will actually come back to the game, and they can actually enjoy the game again. They they actually love the game again. Like me, I I'll, I'll be able to love the game again if y'all would just add a casual multiplayer option. Take get rid of multiplayer two. That shit's garbage. Get rid of multiplayer two. And put in a casual multiplayer option in the game. Casual. Like Asphalt 8. Where you can just, where you can pick the class you want to be in. You get a selected amount of tracks that the lobby can pick. And then you pick whatever car in that class that you want to use. Not, you just pick a car and then you hope that the game gives you a race that's good enough for your car. And then hope that people don't just KD you on purpose just to make you lose points. Which then takes forever to get back in. Because then it's like a constant streak of losing when you just get KD back to back every lobby or stuff like that. It's like, no nah, man, that's not, like, that's not a casual multiplayer to slice. That is, that is ranked play. Uh, ranked play is different. I'll actually play it if it was its own playlist. As ranked, but not if it not if it's the only playlist like that. That is the dumbest thing ever created. I'm sorry, it's just dumb. Even back then, it was dumb, but at least it got by because the game was actually fun and stuff like that. Government, let me tell y'all motherfuckers something. I don't know what the fuck. There's, I get there's just I'm not sure if it's called league mixing. I don't know. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it. A way to be a fuck ass <laughs> because this is death. This is basically what that is. So, um, basically, this only this, I mean, it occurs a good amount of times, but it will mostly start occurring when you're in B to A class. Basically, they start putting in, you know, motherfuckers using cars that are higher in tier than the car you're using. So, if you're using a B class car. That can only go 209 or 205 or 201 or something like that. The, the, they they probably going to give you somebody a lot of you in an A-class car. They going to go over that. <laughs> so, like, 215, 220 or 225 or something like that. And that shit is just annoying as fuck. And then probably even an S-class where they, you know, you know how S-class is, bro. No motherfuckers. Those are basically the fastest cars in the game, usually, so. They're going more than that. They're going, like, 230 or, or above. Probably even 240, 250, 260. I don't know, but the motherfuckers go high as fuck when it comes to speed. And that's also another, that's also another reason why you would lose a lot of points because they do that shit just to forcefully make you lose points to then make you start feeling like it's not even worth playing the game because... If that's going to be happening to you, and then you still have to deal with niggas trying to KD you over and over again. You got to deal with the hackers that just want to hack it just to win because they don't want to lose a lot of points. It's just like that. They get cheap wins with no skill. 
it's like Ass One Nine is not what it what it was before when I played it. When it what it was before was a game that it was able to have way more potential with so much more to still have the game still have fun. And now the game is basically just a piece of shit by devs who they who didn't give who don't give a fuck. I can't even say didn't that don't give a fuck about the play, about the player base because if they did if they did they would have added casual multiplayer long ago like they would have stopped adding new microtransaction or ways and shit like that they would have stopped doing all that and they would have added a actual casual multiplayer that's exactly like asphalt 8 but they said no i don't do it because we care about more we care more about money and people who sweat on our game 24 7 that you know, probably thrive off of just KD and people over and over again just to stay on top. Then players who actually like our game, to have fun on our game, but are too slow to play. <laughs> like, it's, I mean, it is what it is. Like, that's all on is going to be like this to the day game will off the side to retire. So, yes, yeah, it is what it is. So, that's, that's basically about it. Will Asphalt 9 actually come out to be the game that it should be, which is what I talked about in here? Most likely not, because when it comes to devs and them ruining their own game for the purpose of money and shit like that, not giving a fuck about the player base, it usually turns into the fact that they just won't give a fuck about the game. And then they, once they retire, the game's going to stay exactly like how it was. When, not exactly like how they left it, so... Yeah, that's about it. Right, yeah, I'm going. Right, catch you later.